Hey, it's Lindsay, and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Log Diaries. I have been really loving my ring planner, and I wanted to share how I've been using it and kind of what the routines are looking like, especially because everything is in one place now. So I'm touching my notebook quite a bit more throughout the day because this is serving everything from journaling, memory keeping, planning, habit tracking, task management, all that. All those different flavors are in one notebook. So I'm reaching for it a lot more often compared to just my bullet journal or my daily journal or other small bound books that I've been using for the last couple of years. I did put up a poll on the community tab asking whether you would prefer to see more of a traditional one day version of my daily log diaries or if we should shoot for an extended one week in my planner video and uh, there was a lot of mixed responses there but there were a few suggestions to do both and I thought both both is good <laughs> very niche millennial reference there but I decided that that made a lot of sense so today is going to be more of the one day in my planner I'm going to focus on sharing what my routine looks like, how I'm filling out each section and when I typically tend to do these things and I'll have footage of filling it out. And then next week I'll do a one week in my planner type of video and you can see the different flavors and small variants and kind of how it fits within my lifestyle. So let's get into it. This is my plotter Lisco, L-A-S-C-O. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, and Bible size in black. So Bible size is personal size between Potter and like Philofax if you're trying to map them. And I did move into this for the month of December. In general, this cover is really intended to be more of my on the go cover. So when I'm traveling for a week or two, this would be the cover I'd want to move into because it's a lot slimmer. It's easier to write in with the rings because the rings are smaller, they're 11 millimeters. And in general, fits in more of my bags <laughs> so much easier. It's also really thin and lightweight, so that's been really nice. But I think for the like majority of the year, I'll probably be in my Filofax just because I like having more pages on me and things move around just a little bit neater in the rings because I refuse to shelve some of my inserts that probably don't need to be in here. All right, so routines. The first thing I do in my planner every morning is I will flip to my habit tracker section. This is the second tab in my current configuration and I flip through pretty much all of my habit trackers on a daily basis. This is one thing I absolutely love about being in rings is that with all my habit trackers in one place, they're so much easier for me to keep up with. They're very much never out of sight, out of mind. And I do pretty much flip through all of them. It's also really nice because it, you start the year thinking you wanna track certain things and then give it a month or two and all of a sudden there's a new habit you would like to form or you need to replace a habit and the flexibility of rings is really nice because i can jump in and jump out of those particular things or reformat if i want to try something not locked in or having to tab off every single habit tracker that comes up later in your setup i can keep them all consolidated which i love <laughs> next in is sort of a mini section in my habit tracker section is my finance and this is really on my morning routine i'm checking to see if i got any package notifications most of the time so if something shows shipped i'll come in and update this tracker yep that shipped or i'll check my sticky note for shipments that i'm tracking that aren't my own personal fun money so i'll do a quick update there maybe i had a cheeky late night purchase <laughs> i'll add it to my log so that i'm not getting too behind on that and then otherwise it's just sort of a flip through making sure i've collected things that i wanted to collect from the day before did i finish a book did i read a fan fiction i liked all those kind of things that i like to log in my notebooks I will then move on to my weekly section. I will fill out my habit tracker at the top because a lot of my habits that I track in this particular page are morning routine focused because I am not a morning person. I am not a morning person. I need a routine. <laughs> so this is where I keep track of that at the top of this. And then I'll do a quick skim for anything that maybe I knocked off the list that I could true up. And then from there, I will typically move over to my daily log. 
I'm currently doing a day per page, and this is my four millimeter daily log insert that I'm still really loving. And in here, I combine my daily to-do list and my memory keeping. So at this point, I'm really just flipping to my current daily, checking my list, and then I'll do a quick brain dump of anything that kind of came up in the morning. I don't know about you guys, but laying in bed about like 15 minutes after your alarm goes off, my brain is like racing and I'm like, I gotta do this, this, and this. And then this is where I'll offload those tasks if I need to do them today. If something came up that I need to do tomorrow, I'll add it to my weekly spread. And oftentimes some of it's like, I just don't know where to put it. And that's where my very front section of my planner comes into play. And I call it my inbox, but really it's just scratch paper, lists of things to add to planner or don't know what to quite do with that. I'll just add it to the inbox and then I try and check that page throughout the week and I'll typically try and kind of clear that and move things where they need to be. But for the most part, I will just offload everything onto my daily and then figure out where it needs to go from there. The other section that I will reach for often in the morning is my journaling section. I do two types of journaling in my rings planner right now. I have memory keeping journaling and then everything else. So the section I'm showing currently is my everything else journal slash sketchbook section. And right now I'm journaling on paper from Plotter. This is their two millimeter grid memo pad and Man, two millimeters is tiny. I'm pretty much ignoring the lines and just kind of sizing my normal writing. It looks a little sloppy, but also it's kind of a vibe, so I'm here for it. <laughs> but it's very fountain pen friendly, which I do really like, and it's extremely thin. So in this setup, this paper is fantastic, especially because I'm trying to kind of keep a month in here to see how many inserts 11 millimeter rings can hold before I'm just absolutely a crazy person. <laughs> But this section I will fill out as needed. I would say most mornings as I'm drinking my coffee, I will sit and journal a couple sentences, maybe a paragraph or two on this paper, and this is where I'm clearing my thoughts. The journaling on my daily pages I'll show later. That's a lot more memory keeping focused, and I'm writing about what happened that day, what I was thinking about that day, something that occurred that day. It's very tied to the date, a bit more memory keeping focus. We're back here. This could be anything. Um, last night I was writing about goals and priorities and what I wanted those goals to look like for 2024. Maybe I'm rambling about a planner, talking myself in and out of a planner. Those kind of things happen in here looping thoughts if something is stuck in my head, creative writing, uh, writing about my goals as if I've already achieved them, those types of things end up in this section of my planner. Typically I'm filling it out in the mornings, but it's really a real time thing, especially in the middle of the workday. And I need to vent in the middle of a call that I'm sitting on mute on. I'll flip to this section, pull out my pen, and I will write down the nasty thoughts in my head because I need to tell someone and I can't tell anyone at work right now. So my planner kind of gets to hear all the dirty details for things like that as well. So this section does get picked up on often. It's also a space for me to do some like creative brainstorming. So if I'm thinking of a new insert that I want to try this is, or try and make or design or whatever, a new layout, new ideas, new structure for something or another, I'll kind of rough draft it in this section. I'm currently keeping all these inserts, but this is the type of journaling I've historically just kind of tossed. But I also think that this is kind of where the magic happens. So maybe I'll try and hang on to these for 2024. I'm going to be kind of ignoring my work section today because it's not a work day, but for the most part throughout the day, my planner is open on my daily log and it just sort of sits open on that or that's where I'm flipping to the most regularly as I'm working through filling out tasks on the right hand page. I will also collect small memories throughout the day, very reminiscent of how I filled things out in my Hobonichi weeks in the past. And just to the right, if something small happens, something little that I want to remember, I'll go ahead and just like add a heart and write a line or two. Maybe I'll add it in line with my daily log. 
Sometimes I'll sketch things real time in my daily log, but I have added a sketchbook session section to this planner as well. So if I only just want to sketch random things and it's not really pertaining to what's going on that day, that's kind of when I'll reach for my sketchbook section. It's a bit hit or miss. Last month, I tried to challenge myself to doodle something every day. This month, I'm letting myself take a break. So I'm only going to draw when I want to draw. <laughs> But then finally, at the end of the day, I will do my evening journaling and set up for the next day. So setting up for the next day is typically what happens first. This is something I'm really loving about being in a ring bound planner again is giving myself a full page per day versus trying to kind of scrunch things in to get as many days as possible into a bound book. Now it's sort of like, I'm gonna be pulling the inserts out every month. I'm not worried about running out of room in my archive binder. So things are a lot more flexible and I'm really liking that. Or if I want more pages, I pull out a half page or a quarter page or you know, a little insert, something or another. I can always add an extra page if I have more to say or pictures to collect or ephemera to add and I'm loving that flexibility is just so nice. So there's a point in the day I will always hit where I'm like, okay, I'm ready to start thinking about tomorrow. So I will go ahead and date the next page. I usually do the date and the day of the week. And then I will rapid log things that come to mind that I need to do for the following day. I will also always check my monthly. My monthly is my master planner for events and things like that. So that's where I check to visually see, do I have an appointment tomorrow? What time is that thing at? Did I thread any notes through? I'll also kind of glance at my monthly to-do list in the margin just to say, hey, yeah, there's something I need to do there. And then I will flip to my current weekly spread and I will look for soft scheduled tasks for that day and any other unscheduled tasks from my running list and say, okay, yep, I think I can do that tomorrow. I think I can do that tomorrow. And I'll pull those things from there and I will add them to the list along with a quick brain dump or rapid log of anything else floating around in my mind and say, hey, I need to do that tomorrow. <laughs> if I have any events or like there's a birthday or a holiday, I'll also pull out my Tombo Fidonoske hard tip brush pen and I'll use that to sort of hand letter in what that event is so it sticks out and as the glance as I'm flipping through pages I can tell very easily like what is going on what is going on what the events are they stand out to me which I really like and I'll add to this throughout the day as I'm thinking about things it's usually around like three or four o'clock that I'm like starting to think about the next day already and it's nice that I can go ahead and, and fill those things out. I don't typically fill out more than a day ahead because life changes too much. If I need to do something two days from now, I'll just put it on my weekly spread and soft schedule it because I, I've got plenty of room in my weekly and I feel more comfortable doing that. So the last thing I do in my planner most days is I will do my memory keeping. And when I do my memory keeping, I will kind of choose the last line. I'll pull out this Hobonichi writing board and I'll go ahead and draw a horizontal line across just to break up like here's the end of my daily and here's where my memory and keeping begins and then i'll go ahead and i will print out any photos i'll draw anything that kind of comes to mind for the day maybe there's a sticker that perfectly expresses something we did or how we felt and i'm like yep i need to use that sticker i'll go ahead and place that down maybe hand letter or something or another that came up um, how I felt about something, something I watched, something I read, songs I'm listening to. I try and find something about the day that's kind of representative of that day, add it in a bolder fashion, and then I will go ahead and just journal about my day. And this type of journaling is essentially what I was doing in my A6 Hobonichi Techo. So it is very much like, yeah, we did this with XYZ friends and I really enjoyed it and we had a lot of fun. Um, or maybe this world event happened and here's how I feel about it. Sometimes it's just like a general vibe check of the day. This was a bad day because this was a great day because um, when nothing happens, then I will typically write about music. Like what was I listening to that day? What were my thoughts on that? What have I been reading? <laughs> Things that made me think. Um, or if all else fails, a good old planner ramble can make its way <laughs> onto these pages. And I'm pretty good about always doing this before bed. 
this is the form of journaling that I try to be the most consistent with. So between the morning journaling and my journaling section or daily memory keeping, the daily memory keeping is a higher priority for me because it's the journaling I actually go back and reread, but I need a space for both of my notebooks and I love that I can kind of create that space for both in a ring planner and have them with me and it doesn't matter. Like sometimes I want to fill out my memory keeping earlier in the day and I need to ramble about something else later at the night and I have a total separate section for that and I absolutely love that. Um, I think the last question I will probably get is how much time do you spend in your planner? And I don't know the answer to that. I don't know if I want to know the answer to that, but it is open and with me throughout the entire day and in general, um, I mean, the actual planning portions, like setting up tomorrow's to-do list, cheering up habit trackers, and moving information over, filling in weeklies and things like that, the more functional portion of my planning is probably only 30 minutes. The journaling can probably add another 30 to 40 minutes, depending on if I'm printing and cutting pictures and things like that. So easily an hour a day, I'm in my notebook um, but that's what I do for fun. This is my stress reliever. This is my version of scrolling on TikTok or watching a show on Netflix in the evening. So I spend a lot of time in it, but if I am busy, I can do the bare minimum in less than 30 minutes. So to me, that's still pretty sustainable. And filling out half of a personal size insert for memory keeping, especially if you print out a picture, can take as little as three minutes <laughs> if the picture is doing most of the talking for me. And uh, I find this to be a really sustainable size for me to keep up with as well, but not too small where I feel like I'm not able to say things that I want to say about each day. So yeah, hopefully that helps and you guys can kind of see like what's the cadence, what's the flow of filling things out in my notebook. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. I'll have my paper and pen and all that information in the description bar. If you're willing to kind of hunt and open that up, I'll have the names of everything in there. But if you guys have any other questions, let me know down below. If you've made it this long, thank you so, so much for being here and I will see you soon.